I have had a lot of issues with Sony over the past few years, especially since I started creating content online. I have become very aware of companies' anti-consumer business practices and how these large companies treat developers. So I will admit that I have been harsh with my thoughts on Sony, but striking down videos to protect a first-party studio just adds to the continuously growing pile of hate that I have for them. So in my last two videos on The Last of Us 2, where I said and I talked about Anita Sarkeesian, of all people, having a part in the game, but Naughty Dog firing employees for being sexist, I also mentioned how critical videos of the game were receiving strikes on YouTube. Very suspicious. And at one point, at the point of my two previous videos, only two people had received content strikes. Ryan Kennel and Jeremy's Geeks and Gamers official channel. So I thought that maybe it would stop there. Maybe the people who were abusing the strike system would stop. They would leave it alone. They would realize they probably shouldn't do this because they're going to receive a lot more backlash than positivity out of the situation. But it has escalated much further than I anticipated, and now there are so many people that have received content strikes due to their slightly critical opinions on the game and on the leaks. Now, because no creators deserve to be silenced, because a company is angry that their content was leaked, I felt that it was very important to make a full video on the situation. Once this content is on the internet, leaked or not, it's there to stay. It's public and people are allowed to commentate over it, but Naughty Dog and Sony apparently think that that's not the case. So, this is a Reclaim the Net article. Sony is abusing copyright systems to take down content of people just talking about The Last of Us 2 leaks. Now, I do want to say there have been a couple of people that have received strikes because they have shown uh, pictures, screenshots, a couple of people have shown videos, but there are situations in here when where people have not even shown anything or talked about any leaks in specific, and they have received strikes. Sony is belatedly pulling out all of the stops in trying to prevent the spread of leaks of its upcoming The Last of Us Part 2 game from appearing on the internet. This extends beyond targeting actual video content from the game posted with copyright strikes and shutting down the channels. Now that I would more so understand if people were just directly ripping the gameplay and posting it online, because yes, it is leaked content. Companies do that all of the time if content content is actually leaked, but these are people just showing maybe one still from all of the gameplay that was leaked, and they're receiving strikes. What's interesting about these is incidents of Twitter accounts and users being blocked is that the DMCA claims are now apparently valid in case a leak from The Last of Us 2 is so much as mentioned, or a mention linked to a tweet, never mind posting any actual leaked content. So, the owner of the Geeks and Gamers brand announced on Twitter that one of his videos about the game was taken down for copyright reasons, asking followers to help him by giving visibility to the story. Story. Um, I discussed, meaning I used my words and my opinions to talk about what is happening with The Last of Us 2, with Naughty Dog and how they are abusing the copyright system, and then my video gets a copyright strike because of my opinions. I shared no footage, no images, and I did not even talk about any specific details of the leaks. And of course, he shows the copyright takedown notice. Um, as it continues by Muso TNT LTD, and then he shows the copyright strike. Another example is an artist who said that mentioning the now apparently unmentionable game in the context of leaks associated with it will send Sony into rage mode that can result in the shutting down of users' accounts on large networks. It says, do not mention redacted leaks. If your tweet gets traction, regardless if you posted footage or not, Sony will literally file a DMCA takedown on your account. Same goes for YouTube or 
funny network at this point and then it shows media not displayed um an angry employee is leaking last of us 2 on youtube again what the hell is going on as it as it says um over on youtube though the consequences are much dire as copyright strikes can threaten a creator's ability to upload content and can even eventually result in the channel being shut down I'm going to show a couple of more examples on the situation, though, because this is just one of the many people who have had their content removed online. So I am going to use a Bleeding Fool article as my second reference point because they have nicely compiled a lot of the people's content that has gotten struck down, so it's all in one place. So Just Some Guy was also another creator. He said, so now Sony has filed a false DMCA against my channel for a video that was already blocked and under dispute. YouTube, why are you allowing Sony to abuse your copyright claim policy? Scrolling down, as from here, Heel vs. Babyface also received strikes. As is a YouTuber from the UK and his channel Heel vs. Babyface has been focused on gaming for a while, but occasionally began extending into recent pop culture issues around December 2019, beginning with his coverage on the new Doctor Who series. And of course, he had received strikes as well. Now, he has gone very hard against Sony. He's made multiple videos on Naughty Dog and Sony at this point, which good for him. He should. He should should be allowed to voice his opinion online without having his content removed. I 100% stand by that. He's put up a couple of hilarious videos on the situation though. So those are just a few examples of some content creators receiving strikes on their videos at this point. Now I have been lucky enough, I have not received any strikes on any of my content. If it will stay that way, I'm not exactly sure, but who knows, people are still actively getting strikes. It's a very unfortunate situation. At this point though, I think that we all know that the leaks are true. It's not like these people, though, are re-uploading the full videos. Be Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and the information compiled in it, make sure to give it a like and share it. And of course, if you did not, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, and I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.